Oh, I'm trying a new uh, placement um, on the Aura Base Shaker. Uh, I haven't permanently uh, yet got all the uh, fixing screws to mount it down uh, nicely. But I'm just experimenting at the moment. First time I tried it down here on the, on the uh, seat riser kind of thing different certain materials in there obviously um, when tightening it down um, I thought oh I'll play a sine wave very gently okay I can hear it buzzing which it shouldn't do and then tighten it down until the buzzing's gone because if, you, if, I, if I were to put it down on, on the floor here like and then just no screws and then just do that I'll be pressing it down so, you know, I'll just put a sine wave through it and uh, tightened it down a bit. Um, but I've got to get, get the right right fittings. Um, got hardly any voltage in the battery. Actually got to charge that up. Um, yeah, so far it's okay. So I've just got alligator in the sewer clips uh, connected up at the moment, uh, going over to the multimeter. Um, these are take up to about 50, uh, 50 watts um, in volts. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm in the in the clear in the safe. Um, so, so. Down a bit there. Take it up a bit. I imagine at some point it's going to resonate. Well, so far I can feel a nice vibration in the seat, uh, particularly going up the seat back. Uh, 45 hertz but everything varies uh with frequency so it has a sort of thing with a sort of um has a sort of three dimension where it kind of moves up and down well maybe a little bit side to side maybe through the armrests it's, you know at certain frequencies of such um Explain some scenes, you know, because it's a bit of a trial and error. Bit of a trial and error. Tells us revenge is a dish that is best served cold. It is very cold. Voice 
message. They say their chamber's coil is overloading their comm system. It's fun. Scanning. Their coil emissions are normal. They still haven't raised their shields. Raise ours. Their shields are going up. Lock faces on target. Locking faces on target. They're locking faces. Raise shields. Fire! Now I can hear or feel some some of it. Probably probably if I put more of them on the floor I maximize the um I maximize it. But with it on the seat where it is fitted underneath to the seat it, it um, only needs a little bit less um, to uh, get the vibration feel um, I could put different sort of filter crossover filters on that uh, the one on the floor um, might take a bit bit of trial and error. I know where, where I want to sort of go with it, but anyway. Um, let's just go back to there. quite a bit of a, uh, you know, one care that it's not over driven to damage it. Oh, what it's doing, and yes, yeah, so I can hear some parts of the chair tingling at certain parts of the metal. Um, Of course, it's like a psychoacoustic. Hmm. 
It's had quite a bit of tri trial and error. So I'm doing quite a bit of a thorough testing because it takes quite a lot of um, experimentation that could take oh, days if not a few months.